This is Ranger Kidwell Ross, editor of World Sweeper and the director of the World Sweeping Association. We're so fortunate that Michael Nawa agreed to do some walk-around video for us on the NPE show floor this year. Uh, as you read, Michael is a longtime sweeping contractor and was on the advisory board for MPE and Pavement Magazine, and he is now an advisory board um, member for the World Sweeping Association and an all-around good guy. So uh, thanks for doing this in advance, Michael. And uh, with that, let's uh, let him walk around the floor. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick... Oh, but there are um, a lot of empty spaces, like mm -hmm. right there, large amount of empty room. Mm -hmm. Armando Donan, I'm with uh, Carter's uh, Municipal in North America, and we're going to be taking a look at the MC-130 here. The MC-130. This is the MC-130. It's a 66 horsepower uh, diesel engine. It's a Kubota engine on, th on this one. Uh, this one's set up with three boom, three boom system. Um, it is our, is in an articulating uh, piece of equipment. And it also oscillates uh, all-wheel drive wheel, uh, steering system, uh, hydraulic driven. It goes side it, to side. It goes, yep, side to side. Uh, it's got a, a 1.5, a 1.5 uh, cubic yard popper on it that, okay. that dumps on on itself. Yeah. And how puts that one down there? That's, that's the MC250, which is our midsize uh, sweeper of Karcher. Uh, this one has uh, a 2.87 cubic yard hopper on it. This, this is a 100 plus uh, horsepower on it, diesel engine as well. Uh, this one is not an articulating piece of equipment, yeah. but it does have all wheel steering equipment on there. Okay. Uh, tires on it. And what do you see that market to be for that one? What's the what's the market so this, here? This running? this one, uh, who's buying these? Yeah, municipalities so this, and... municipalities. This one was purchased by the city of Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, on, the, on our last show. Okay, and uh, we asked to, to to borrow it so we can show it at this show. They had detailed it, and they're usually strictly for their uh, bike lanes, sidewalks. So this machine's been used for a this year. Is, it still looks uh, like yep. this. This has been used for, they've been using it for about a year now. Um, oh, keep it they, very nice. <laughs> they've kind of uh, really uh, decaled it. You know, they want to promote uh, their their cleaning sidewalks, their, their inner city. So it's got a, it's like a hose, a yep, suction a water hose. hose yes. About uh, 10 feet. It's got a pressure washer on it as well. Yeah, that's and a nice use. Strictly air. Are there any uh, broom components other than what's in the front? No, they're all they're all air sweepers. It's all yeah. air, right? Yeah. Look in the hopper. So that's the intake and uh, or the exhaust of the trash. Hard sweeper, the sweeper line, but they wanted a multi-use piece of equipment, okay. so they purchased holder which has the multi-purpose. This is the mid-size of the holder uh, tractors. Okay. Um, they have uh, a smaller one, which is the X45. And they have an S100 series, S130. And the one, the, the 45, the 70, the 100 is the horsepower of the, of the okay. piece of equipment. So that's what, that's what, and, and you can put all kinds of different attachments on there. You can put plows, blades, oh, no snow blowers. Uh, these are, you can, you can use them for pretty much whatever you need it to. That's really a nice unit. Yeah, it's and it's it's a quick uh, uh, hydraulic three point hitch on the okay. front and the back. Um, and they make their own attachments. I mean, no, uh, holders does not make attachments. Okay, yeah. but somebody's Third making party. attachments yeah. for them. Yeah, correct. Cool. Yeah, you put they use them. They put uh, grass mowers. You know, all kinds through tri deck. Look who it is! Oh well, there we go. He certainly can. So tell tell Ranger about the Uno. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's I what happens that, when you know somebody for that many years. Uno, 
<laughs> no range. You know. So, Chris, can you talk about this machine in a very loud voice? I can. I'll point some things out. Please point about some things that? out to our listeners. So, this is a single engine sweeper. This is the first one. First from one from Victory in a while. Yeah. Uh, they had one back in the early 2000. The place the mark. One. Yes, sir. So we've done the things a little bit different. We have uh, got a 12 groove drive pulley okay. off the front of the engine. Is it gas or diesel? It's gas. Okay. Right now, that's all we're putting it on. Okay. The gas MPR and the MPR HD. Okay. So it's got a, car, a shaft through here okay. that goes to the back of the engine. You've got an electric clutch. Okay. So what you do when you're in sweep mode, turn that switch on and it, everything is running. Okay. So when you're not, when you're going down the road, turn it off and none of your hydraulics is running. Okay. So everything is shut off. Okay. Does the, does the sweep mode engage something in the transmission to keep you from doing 60? Uh, actually, it's, it's by RPMs. Okay. So, it'll keep so you if, RPM you, if you go over RPMs to a certain degree, it'll, it'll, shift kick the, it'll shut, the, yeah. it'll shut oh. the system down. Excellent. So, Excellent. so we also use a pen uh, It's a uh, Kawasaki steel uh, okay. pump. pump that's real durable you know, and, instead and, of the aluminum. And, and right there to replace, no dragon. Yeah, easy to replace. Under the engine. One of the reasons we did it, we we did it mainly for keeping the hydraulic fluid off the hottest part of the exhaust. So oh. having the having the exhaust up here, if you ever spring a hydraulic leak. The temperature of the exhaust system, exhaust manifold, is flammable. Yes. So we keep it back here. That way, it's okay. not. Okay. So we also drive the uh, the fan. Uh, obviously, the hydraulic system runs the sweeper. Yep. Uh, we've got a bent axis piston pump, which okay. is like ninety eight percent efficient. So you're getting all the power you can derive from the chassis. Okay. Is there anything new about the hopper? The uh, this actually there is. We we've got it available in two different grades. If you get the 12,000 GVW MPR, you can get it on a, a, with aluminum hopper. Okay. So the aluminum hopper was on the old Mark One. Yep. And it's very durable. Yep. But what's good about it is it gives you 800 pounds of extra payload, mm -hmm. plus it's about 5,000 dollars cheaper than the, than the 304 grade stainless that we use. Okay. So, and like I said, the MPR HD, which is the 14.5, uh, that you can get with the stainless steel hopper. Michael, Great. could you could you uh, put your camera on that on the features and benefits there, the bullet points? Let, let's see, so people can just see what those are. They could stop their uh, their video and see what that all is that way. Now, talk about the hybrid canvas analog control panel. What's what are the advantages there, Chris? You can see we use a combination. The, the panel for the uh, hydraulic system to engage it and disengage it is, is CAN bus operated. You know, that way you can control it from zero to 100% of yep. your power. Uh, but we use an analog system for all our switches. That way, if you get a switch that goes out, you don't have to replace the whole system. You know, instead of being a, you know, $800 switch, you replace the switch. Isn't it nice what 13 years has taught us about these things? <laughs> Uh, something else that's nice is our, if they haven't seen it, is the illuminator bumper. No, let's take a look at that. Uh, hey, Jason. Well, the illuminator bumper, you got LED lights, you got front end protection. It'll go and sell them for whoever sweeper. Okay. You get it in on front of uh, your Suzu cab. Okay. You got flashing strobes on the, on the outer corners. Oh, yeah. Excellent. It's also got it underneath the light. You can see underneath there. Oh yeah. It actually shines underneath, so you can see your pickup pad. Is uh, it retrofitable to older yes, models? Yes, absolutely. Of yeah, any any uh, Suzu cab over. Whether uh, gas or diesel, it's all gas the same. or diesel. They're all the same. Matter of fact, we we've sold a ton of them to you know competitor machines as well. Nice. And uh, Scott from Ashbury Gardens bought a couple yeah, of these yeah. bumpers. Yeah, they they love them. Uh, absolutely love them. Mm. Thank you, Chris. Absolutely. All right, hit the pause, man. Ranger.
Zoom call with Ranger from World Sweeping Association. How's the show going for the magazine? It's going really good. I think that we've had a lot of engagement with uh, readers of the magazine, people coming over and getting copies, talking about the different articles that they like to see. Good. And, you know, for me, doing research, I got to figure out what do people want more of. So I've tried to be asking people, what do you like? What would you like to see more of? And we get a lot of good feedback. So let's get our members to chime in to Brandon about what they want to see about sweeping. Yeah, right. <laughs> send me yeah. email. I'm always looking for leads on good stories. All right. Trying to find good stuff. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it very much.